This video will show you how to use that call simulator to detect if QoS is working correctly. You may have heard that you need to test your network for 24 hours or more to properly validate a network for QoS. That can take a lot of time and still not produce valid results. Today I'm going to show you how to validate if QoS is working correctly within 30 seconds. To set up this test, you will need two copies of the call simulator running on your computer. With the left call simulator, we will point to the far end of our WAN link. We choose our codec and want to do just one call. We will want these packets to be DSCP tagged so they are given high priority by the network. This is going to be our VoIP call. It should have low latency, low jitter, and no packet loss when the network is congested with data traffic. Rather than waiting around to see if congestion occurs or not, let's create some congestion and see what happens. With the right call simulator, let's point to the same far end WAN link. We want to have it load the network with data packets, so choose the codec for bulk data. This will have the call simulator send out maximum 1500 byte MTU frames that simulates an FTP file copy on the network. We want to start with just one 64K stream and the DSCP tag should be unchecked as we want these packets to be untagged data packets. We can quickly see that adding 64k of data to this link doesn't cause any problems for the VoIP call as there is more than enough bandwidth to support both of these applications. TCP sliding windows is designed to flood links so let's increase the data to flood the link and see what happens. As the data flood increases, we will see that the latency rises as packets are being buffered. Eventually, we will run out of buffers and packet loss will start to climb. That's fine, as TSCP will simply retransmit these lost packets. Look at the left call simulator. It has a ton of latency and a ton of packet loss. This is telling us that the VoIP call is not being given any preferential treatment from the data packets and the DSCP value is not being respected. What's great is that you can fix the problem and then quickly start this test up to validate if the problem is solved or not. Thanks for watching.